Well, hello and welcome back to another video. I um, hope you're all doing okay and you've managed to survive the heat of earlier this week. My goodness, it was warm, wasn't it? Um, as you know, I tend to acquire various bits and pieces. Some of it I keep, some of it I you know dispose of. Some of it, <laughs> some of it goes straight in the bin sometimes. People very kindly think of me um, with various bits and pieces and um, a guy I was very friendly with, I went to school with him and um, he's got a little shop in Northampton where they sell a, um, a lot of second-hand things and I think he does quite a few house clearance still and it's like a little bit of a hobby business for him and his wife and um, they um, said to me, oh, we were clearing a, um, a shed of a house that we were clearing and, and he said, we found one or two old radio things um, you know, he said, I said, he said, I don't want anything for them. Would you like them? So I thought, well, yeah, you know, I, I keep saying I don't want any more of this kind of thing. And, but I thought, well, I can always, you know, um, you know, have a look at them. And um, he dropped them into me last weekend. I had uh, um, these came and um, and the first one was quite interesting um, because I, I, I don't think um, we'll, I'll, we'll turn the camera around and have a proper look at it in a minute. Um, I don't think it's a 1920s. Um, it might be. Um, I, I think it's quite a lot, probably a deal later than that. I don't know. It's, dif it's difficult to date these things. Um, but it's a homemade um, little crystal um, radio receiver. And I thought this ties in quite nicely because... Um, on the 14th of November this year, um, the BBC is exactly 100 years old. And um, I know from going from my family and uh, particularly my mum's grandparents, the first radio they heard, um, both grandmother and grandfather, were crystal radios um, in the 1920s. Um, you know, although sort of by the mid 20s, you know, you could buy valve um, sets, they were very expensive. And so the vast majority of people, you know, built homemade crystal sets or went out and bought a manufactured crystal set as you could. And that was the first, you know, um, introduction they had to radio so I thought this ties in quite nicely you know um, so here we have as I say a basic very basic um, homemade crystal set that could date from the 1920s 30s or even the 40s I don't think it's 40s I think it might be certainly 20s or 30s looking at the um, I mean somebody's made a nice job of the cabinet um, and it's been quite well constructed I have to say and um, I thought it might be fun um, to see if we get it working and um, now I don't have any radio crystals um, obviously it how this used to work was you know, you've got a, a little thing, a little like wire prong there, which is called the cat's whisker, very, a very tiny little sort of brass uh, wire. And you put your piece of galena or such like radio crystal in the cup. And I think this has got a little bit broke off anyway. And then you position your spring, your little kind of, I presume it's like a brass, um, mighty fine wire to a point on your Galena uh, radio crystal and obviously that is makes a diode basically um, a shock key diode I think um, is the proper terminology um, I'm not really up on this kind of radio this is this 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 predates me you know um, I, I used to build um, crystal radios as a boy but obviously that was all in like electro electronic form and um, not with a piece of radio crystal um, and as I say then you turn your little cat's whisker onto your radio crystal and get the best position 
uh, to get a station. Now, I think the amazing thing, and it still amazes children, these are, these are great, it's great if you've got children or teenagers, to, it's great to build a crystal set still today. Um, because this has no power supply, there's no batteries, it's just the power of the radio signal with high impedance radio, with high impedance headphones, um, which those are period, and those didn't come with it, those are mine. And um, likewise, I, I put this coil in here. You need, all there is in here basically is the tuning capacitor, some bits and pieces of wire, and linking all these um, earth point, aerial point, and phone points, and that's another one to have two sets of phones down the bottom there, headphones, you could put two sets so you could have two people listening. Um, as I hadn't got a radio crystal, I've got an um, 0891 diode, which I've just soldered uh, inside between that point, um, which will do, which is a modern version of the cat's whisker, basically. So the earth is this black wire, which is connected to that point there. And um, that's going out the door. And I've got a piece of 15 mil copper tubing, about that long, with the end flattened down and the, the other end of this wire cleaned up and round a, a brass bolt fastened to that copper tube. And then that's been driven into the ground for the earth. So that's our earth. Our aerial, I've got quite a long aerial here. I've had to extend it a little bit. Um, so this is our aerial wire. And that goes up onto that terminal there. We can screw that up, get it in there. And that is basically the setup. Um, we've got our phones connected up. Um, and if we put the headphones on, we get them, I'm caught up with the area there. And now what I'll do, I'll take my mic off and I've got it tuned in. This coil here is, we're on uh, the long wave. So this is going to be radio four long wave. Um, I'll take this off and hopefully... I'm here at Birmingham's premier comedy club, a place that I hold very dear and close to my heart. It's the Glee Club. Ah, for me, it's the number one comedy club in the country. I love it so much. I love Birmingham audiences. You know, as soon as I go on and they find out I'm from the black country, oh, there's a divide. There's people on one side who are super excited. There's other people who boo me. <laughs> Because I'm from the black country. <laughs> do not let us down. And then when you don't, I don't know how down, quite right we'll pick that up. I grew up in Albury, which is in the black country. But I'm not going to let a couple of miles and a road sign stop me from celebrating the city that shaped me. Uh, as you can hear by the uh, drilling. So hopefully you'd have heard that. And as I say, it's, it's amazing really to think that is just the power out of that radio signal um there's no power connected to this there's no batteries no nothing um and we're getting you know a really good strong um radio four signal there i somewhere i've got some more of these coils and i was trying to um get the medium wave and get radio five live um so i did a bit of a lash up um I think that coil is broke, that coil there, this this kind of very nicely homemade again, I think. That is probably a 1920s homemade um, radio coil. Um, so I got a, a, a kitchen roll and I did a bit of a lash up. <laughs> There's about a hundred turns there of um, cotton um, covered 
uh, copper wire. I don't really think it's the right gauge. I think it's a bit thick, really. It's what I'd got. It's all I'd got, really. Obviously, I'd, um, you know, it's what was there. Um, and basically, whoops, knocking the headphones off, but that doesn't matter. I mean, all we do is that coil comes out. It's just a plug-in coil. And if we um, have a go with this, um, stick that up there and stick that in there. And we'll see whether we've got any. So, um, hopefully you hear me because I've took the mic off again. I've um, put my lashed up medium wave coil on and um, I hope holding the microphone right to the earpiece of the earphone there you can and if i'm quiet you may be able to hear um that is radio 5 live on the medium wave um so that just shows you how easy you know you can lash a crystal set up that's a hundred turns of um cotton coated copper wire um i've just used the old coil there because it's got some terminals and it fits on easier and um, rather than trying to push that the wire in but um uh value wise you know i mean this this hasn't got you know it's, it's not worth anything it's just the novelty factor that it's a crystal set and it's still working basically as a crystal set um and um, it's amazing, you know, and as I say, it, it's really interesting. You know, there's, there's lots of kits you can buy. And as I say, if you've got um, children it, it's um, or teenagers even, it's a, it's a great project to do. Probably, you know, on a winter evening, you know, you can buy these kits that you put together. And um, I know it amazed me as a boy. I mean, we had transistor radios, which were very good. But to build to build something that picked radio up that you could hear that wasn't needing any form of batteries or mains power, I think is still quite quite bewildering, really. And you can see how the term wireless, you know, came about. Because I know we've got <laughs> we've got wires trailing everywhere. We've got an earth, we've got an earth, the black is the earth, and the red is the aerial. But uh, those are was when we're not we're not connected to the radio station you know it's something those wires are picking up um the radio waves um in the ether out there um so amazing um and um i'm rambling now so anyway you know um i hope you might find that interesting i might do something a little bit different more nearer the November the 14th to celebrate the 100 years of the BBC we might you know I might put a little um, video visual display of some sets through the ages and we'll have a look at them working and something like that and uh, dig out some old BBC programs as well um, the other item that came with this Oh, there's the Murphy set, by the way, which is um, touch wood. It's, it's been on trial. It's working perfectly OK. Um, I've had it running not a lot because of the heat again this week, but I, I must have run it probably two hours. Um, I think uh, when was that? When it cooled down a bit on Wednesday, Wednesday morning, I had it on and um, I switched it on again today for half an hour and it seems to be working fine so it's going back in its case that is um, but this was the other item that came with this and this has been in a shed it's um, um I've got the book here with it um, it's um, a sailor type 46t and it's um, I, I do know of these. I think they're Danish, and these were on a lot. I don't know. I don't know where this comes from because these were a really popular set um, on trawlers um, in their day, and um, you could also get the Sailor RT radio telephone, which um, had a similar dial, and you had a you you could transmit and talk on that. Um, this one's basically just got the um, long, medium and what they call short wave, which is trawler band. And um, also, I can't think, there's another band on it. 
NW, whatever NW might be. I haven't had a look at the book or it's still got the instruction book with it. It's still got the guarantee card there even with it. Um, and um, I haven't even tried to see if we can get anything on it, but um, quite interesting, I thought that was, and how it ended up in somebody's shed um, in one of the most inland places in the country is quite amazing, but nothing amazes me these days, really. Um, so as I might see if we can get that working. I don't think there's a lot on the trawler ban these days, sadly. So there we go, just a little bit of an update video for you of what's been happening and uh, a couple of, um, I'm not going to say acquisitions because they were given to me again, um, and um, just interesting old items and, um, you know, it's, a, it's always fascinating, fascinating to meet them to make a crystal set work again. So thanks as always for watching. Um, thanks for anyone that has subscribed. I really do appreciate, please do think about subscribing. And... Um, like comment subscribe uh, do you collect crystal sets i know um, you know a lot of people do i have never collected the, the older you know i'm more interested in the uh, 30s sets through to the you know 50s sets although as i've said before i'm not really a collector this stuff has just landed on my doorstep kind of thing and <laughs> that's how it's happened really i don't you know i know some people specialize in in you know in early valve sets or early crystal sets and um and some of the early um manufactured crystal sets i know do make quite high prices still today um but there we go so yeah always lovely to hear from you and i try to answer every comment sorry if i miss a few or i'm a bit late answering you know youtube doesn't always let me know about these comments it seems as many people say but um i do try and get back to everyone so thank you for your kind comments and um i'll catch you in another video um very in, in the very near future until then my best wishes and bye for now